Welcome to the APA Conference 2020. We're sad not to actually be meeting with you, but hopefully you'll pop by our booth during the day and say hello. I feel I should start off by giving you some background documentation on what we do. For those of you who haven't heard of us, we're a software development company. That means we write, develop, enhance and improve our workflow software platform to deliver solutions to our partners to automate and improve their workflows. We specialise in finance, particularly purchase to pay, but have solutions working across all the back office areas, including human resources, mailroom, contact management, sales order processing, document storage and more. Because we're founder run and have been operating for over 25 years, with lots of our teams past their 15 years documentary, we've evolved and innovated with the industry and have real hands-on experience with the processes, pain points and wins that you and your teams are searching for in accounts payable and purchasing. My talk today is on the automation journey. We recently undertook a survey asking you to get involved and I know many of you here did, so thank you. It was to help us find out where you are with your automation. So now to share some of the magic. Well, Jamie did say he wanted a greatest showman style presentation. The idea of this survey was to get a feel of where people are at on their automation journey. What were the items on their wish lists? And what were the blockers that were stopping them implementing these? There were some really interesting findings and over the next 15 minutes I'd like to share some of these with you. Some background to the respondents will help put these findings in context and hopefully give grounds to the response. So, 95% of the respondents were from the UK. 18 different ERPs or finance systems were in use with SAP having 22% of the market share. All respondents had an invoice volume of over 2,000 a month and the highest number of invoices processed was over 100,000 a month. The average AP team size came out at six. So with this in mind, here are some of the points. 74% of the respondents do not have an AP automation solution. I found this really surprising. The benefits of a solution are numerous and some would say essential. The most talked about ones are as follows. Time saving and error reduction. A software robot can work 15 times faster than a human, doesn't make mistakes. Data capture. Data is captured directly from e-invoice and EDI, while email and scanned invoices are processed through OCR, dramatically reducing data entry costs and improving validation. Duplicate invoices become a thing of the past. Built-in rules mean that any invoice that is a duplicate will be rejected. That means the end to duplicate payments. Three-way matching. Touchless processing is achievable from the point of the email arriving in your inbox with an invoice attached, right through to payment. With three-way matching, exceptions are auto routed to the business and tracked until approved for payment. Fraud checks. Built-in supplier onboarding and checks mean that should any details change in the supplier records, there's an audit trail. Approval hierarchies are set and cannot be worked around. Full visibility. Full visibility of where the invoice is at all times, with automated follow-ups means no lost invoices within the business and therefore no delays in payments. But there are additional, less direct benefits too. Team morale is one of them. Having a team endlessly entering data is not only dull, but breeds complacency. Wouldn't you rather have a team that felt energised and enthusiastic about the day ahead? It's been proved that teams that have reduced the mundane elements in their workday have time for more value-added tasks. Don't underestimate the power of an engaged and happy team. On a much larger scale, Microsoft fell into this trap and the business took a nosedive. It took Satya Nadella becoming CEO and setting a new mission statement to empower every person and every organisation on the planet to achieve more. He orchestrated this shift and transformed Microsoft's corporate culture into one that emphasises continual learning and a growth mindset. That's something very important to us here at Documation. Real-time reporting against KPIs. Being able to identify bottlenecks and solve them, having a view of which suppliers are compliant to your invoice requirements and which aren't, are just a couple of examples of how having the data reporting in real time can aid your processes. Early payment discounts become a reality with AP automation. With touchless processing, you really can take advantage of the early payment discounts meaning the AP team can turn from a cost to a profit centre. There are loads more I could talk about here, 
but I feel these highlight the reasons for an AP automation solution and hopefully give you food for thought. The next point highlighted in our survey was data capture, not just for electronic PDF invoices, but for paper ones too. Only one respondent had zero paper invoices coming into the business. So with the ongoing pandemic, how are you going to continue to deal with your paper invoices? Interestingly, 34% are still printing PDF invoices and 52% are capturing invoice data by manually keying. Looking back at the benefits of automation solution, this is an easy win. Moving on to the wish list from our survey, the processes that were listed as important and a priority for the AP team. In order of popularity, these are as follows. Supplier portal, OCR and data capture, full P2P automation, data analytics and better reporting, automated statement reconciliations, remittance processing, reduction in manual inputting, zero touch processing, improvement speed of workflow, dynamic discounting, business compliance improvements, and auto coding and auto posting. None of these were new to us, but the importance placed on the individual processes was certainly interesting. Of the respondents that have an AP automation solution, 33% of them have one that's over eight years old. More and more we hear about the hacks the AP teams are making just to get the information they need or to improve their process. These included spreadsheets, exporting, importing, copying, pasting, all opening up these processes to human error. In a recent Gartner report, two thirds of employees are hacking work, spending an extra 1.9 hours a day completing routine tasks. Based on a 10,000 person organisation, that's 3.1 million hours, the equivalent to 1,585 full-time employees and a loss of 60.2 million pounds per year. Innovation and development of automation solutions means there's an array of bolt-ons or modules that can enhance your AP automation solution. This is without even mentioning the advances in machine learning and AI that are now baked into most of the solutions. Robotic process automation is another bolt-on that needs to be considered. Your ideal solution partner should have an in-depth knowledge on all these innovative technologies and the ability to help you implement them. However, those with older ERPs or automation solutions may not easily be able to add these processes to their automation. For those who have not yet started their automation journey, make sure you look for a solution partner that's experienced in this new technology. Automation is moving away from the business process transformation model and becoming a more hybrid version with all the innovative elements included, often as a cloud-based service. Whether you already have a solution in place or are searching a solution to implement, make sure you consider what the provider can offer. The basic invoice matching solution is usually your starting point, but what can you add to it as your team gets to grips with the new processes and workflows? Add-ons include supplier portals, remittance processing, statement reconciliation, expenses, or purchasing models that turns your invoice matching solution into a full purchase to pay automation solution. I heard a quote the other day from a customer. They're spending 10% of their time on reconciling 5% of their supplier statements. They're a clear contender for statement reconciliation solution. Not only will it save them time and therefore money, their suppliers will get paid more quickly and the team won't have to spend hours on mundane work. I know that this part of the AP team's workload is a particular headache and often gets pushed to the bottom of the in-tray. Imagine your AP solution could check all your supplier statements automatically. So we've talked through the benefits, the solution and the processes that most wanted on the wish list from the survey. Knowing all these benefits, why are there still 74% of companies without any AP automation? What are the blockers on implementing a solution that's going to improve the business's bottom line and the general well-being of the team? 48% of the respondents said that the main reason for not automating was lack of budget. Add to that, a further 26% said they had no buy-in from budget holders. And we can see that it comes down to cash, but what can you do? Build a case for automation. Prove the ROI not just financially, but with the overall team. For example, a high turnover of staff, due to the nature of a mundane data input job, has a substantial cost to the business. Get HR involved and add the cost savings of recruiting, onboarding, offboarding and training to your proposal. The best way to prove an ROI 
is with your chosen automation solution provider. They will help you structure your case, include the key points and be able to provide you with the figures in a flexible way. Perhaps your company has spare budget for operating costs, but nothing in the coffers for capital purchase. Make sure your chosen provider has the flexibility to match this way of your spend with their invoicing. A managed service becoming the norm and fewer companies are purchasing on-premise solutions that require capital investment. Another blocker is security. This is often budget related too. An on-premise solution means that your organisation is responsible for your server, your data, your risk assessments, compliance rules and security levels are all controlled by you, therefore giving you the security of having full control. If the solution is the in the cloud, then you will need a level of reassurance that the highest security controls are in place and they fit with your organisation. A managed solution is the way forward, allowing flexibility of payments, but how do you ensure that this cloud-based service will fit with your organisation's security compliance rules? Luckily, you're not the only one who's asked this question, and the ISO 27001 is the badge to look for as the answer. The sets of rules around data and security for a company to achieve this certification are complex and stringent, and designed for this exact reason. A national recognition of security for your information. Of course, part of this attainment and retention of the certificate is the ongoing auditing of the company's information security management system. This means you can rest assured there is a continuous level of security adhered to. Our survey has thrown up some interesting facts and stati statistics and I have covered a few of them here. We'll be publishing a white paper before the end of the year showing a more in-depth picture of the automation journey. We'll post it on our website and provide links through social media. So keep a lookout and make sure you're following us to get the full picture. Thanks so much for your time this morning. I hope you've enjoyed the talk and if you have any questions, please do get in touch with me or any of the team on the email shown. Thanks to Jamie and all the APA crew for allowing me to share this talk with you. Have a great conference.